Hey, welcome back, people. I know it's been uh, another couple of months since you guys have heard from me, and I uh, don't think I've been doing nothing. I've been working pretty hard at uh, at lifing and trying to get this car finished. Um, it's really close. I'm well. I'm sitting in the the back seat now, as you can see. Um, all the carpets are in. You know, roof liners in. Door trims are in. Um, you know, everything's everything's pretty much done. And I thought, you know, I've got all this footage for, you know, a bunch of episodes ready to go nearly. And <laughs> I'm sort of at the stage where I need like, you know, the, the, the smallest little thing that's holding up each, you know, um, each sort of episode. Like for example, I, I, you know, I put together sort of a 15 minute episode on, on the wheels I've chosen uh, and, and tires and stuff like that. But installed the wheels and, um, you know, that the, the front struts have been swapped out by the original owner and they're not the FE2. So I'm not clearing um, the actual rim itself. So I've got to change out those. I, I can't post that episode. I've got, you know, all the motor that's basically been finished. I've got some episodes on the IC7, the Helltech dash that's all installed, um, you know, so on and so forth. And then obviously leading into interior installation, um, you know, and then, and then, hopefully pretty soon a, a dyno tune video i've got some footage that i'll show you today of the first start um, that we did that <laughs> sounds unbelievable because um well yeah you, you know the proof will be in the pudding mate i suppose but so i thought i'd just give you guys a bit of a quick rundown on on on, on the whole lot and see exactly what's going on and i know it's going to braze over or, or brush over a, a, a lot of the episodes that i'll cover in more detail but you know, give the fans what they want, um, which is surprising because, you know, when I started doing these videos, I didn't really think about what would become of it. Not that really it's it's anything massive or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> I, I just wanted to document all the work that I could look back later on and watch watch the watch the episodes or show some friends or if I ever did decide to sell the car that I could just go well, look rather than me doing a write-up, just go watch the episodes and you'll see exactly the, the work and the detail that's gone into to doing it. Um, so, yeah, look, there's, you know, there's some great YouTubers out there um, that I've, you know, I like watching, you know, shout out to sort of, um, to the Skid Factory and to Manny J and some of the guys out there that are doing some real cool stuff, man. Like, these guys are just incredible artists i call them in regards to the, the the work that goes into what they do and you know especially skid factory and stuff with all the wiring you know they're just the mechanical knowledge is just it, you know it eclipses anything that i could ever even come close to and i'd i'm not trying to compete with them i'm just inspired by that type of work and i think you know we can all sort of be inspired in in, in a way and this is my first build you know this is i'm, I'm not a mechanic by trade and I've, I've said that a few times and um but it's not stopped me and i hope it sort of you know it's gonna sound funny but maybe inspires other people out there that don't have mechanical steel sets to just get into it I, yeah you know i think that the reason that i've had such a great ability to get into it is that i've had really awesome people around me you know big massive shout out to laz from auto breeze and maddie those guys are just have been a wealth of knowledge and you know if i get stuck um they're just there to help and uh, Lloyd's, you know, he's helped me build the motor and then he's just, he's helped continually just coming around. We've made a friendship out of it all and, you know, he's always over here, always joking around and stuff like that. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, look, that's enough from me talking shit. Let's just sort of get into what we can, you know, what I've done and the work that I've done um, and I'll go through the whole car. Let's just let's just do it. Let's, let's spend the next 10 minutes just sort of going through exactly where I'm at Oh, I don't care. I'll tell you every problem that I've got. I'd love to. <laughs> I'd love to hear in the comment section or read in the comment section if you've got any ideas on how I can fix it and make it better. Because you know I'm I'm sort of trying to to get everything done to a great detail, um, and and I'll just talk you through all the little problems and little bits. And at the end of the build, I'll probably do another final. Hey, it's all finished video. But I thought I'd just give you guys a cool update on all the parts that I'm up to now and. And um and yeah that's that's just pretty much I'll uh, let's let's go for it. All right, so I'm here in the car. I'm sitting in the back seat, <clears throat> and in front of us you can see all the all the carpets are installed. 
um, our door trims down here, which I'll cover in the um, in the audio, but you can see the discoloration of those uh, speakers down there, but they're actually from the VS Commodore that I've been using or cannibalizing. Most of you guys will know that the VNs don't actually have speaker pods, um, which really didn't suit the application of stereo system that I wanted to put in. Not going anything massive, but um, you know, I've got six and a half inch uh what are we talking six and a half inch in the front and then six and a half inches in the rear speakers with front tweeters as well um and the little control boxes and stuff like that handling that so in the in the head unit here that the, the space that's going in there i've got an alpine unit that's actually a single din unit that that folds out into a double din uh, i wanted to sort of keep that 90s single din sort of nostalgia going if you will um, so let's just have a little bit of a look. So I've installed, you know, obviously the center console. Um, uh, I had some issues even with, you know, installing, but just to getting it bite, you know, we're talking about an old, an old car and, you know, where, where the bolts come out normally, you can't really see that, but where the bolts come out normally, they're gone, the studs. So I had to sort of like fabricate some stuff to get that going, but that's installed. It's nice and solid now where I'm happy at. Um, the car's all wired up now, which is friggin' awesome. Um, I've got windows that are working. So all four windows are working, which is wicked. Pretty happy with that. Um, the Haltech, let's let's talk about the Haltech. I'll just turn that off now. Um, that's the IC7. That's, that's, uh, that's installed, and you'll notice that I've actually cut out the, the bottom row that you'll know in the VS Commodores and because that gets that gets in road of sort of the bottom row of data on the Heltec. So I, I did some pretty good work, I reckon, there, to be honest, because I had to cut out this centre um, upright section that, that supported the, the cross bar, if you will, that come out from the left hand and the right hand side here. And I just basically, the holes that were left, I've just used an epoxy, a plastic epoxy, and then just primed it and sprayed it, installed it with the Mako dash surround in the back, uh, at the bottom here, you'll see I've got, that's obviously the connection that's going to go to the the um, ECU, and then this is an, a connection that I'll just put in the dash here, um, and I can I can plug my data cable for a laptop in there and just sort of get live data um, and, and, and track some things and make changes if I do. So, dash is installed. These little speaker mount pod sort of covers here are... Uh, a sort of pretty shitty um they're not sitting too well you can see obviously there's my tweeter installed in there i just need to figure out a way to get these guys to sit properly but i think the dash the dash just needs to be installed just a little bit more i need a few more bolts in there um glove boxes installed lights working which is great um issue i've got right now is the wiring loom that i had for this car is actually a series two Calais wiring loom which has the digital um, air conditioning setup uh, and I unfortunately have the analog so we figured out a way that we can make that work I've just got to get that finished and wind up you can see here I've got all my RCAs hanging out ready to go remote ready to go um, the the B&M shifter um, ratchet shifter is all, all connected now which is grouse so that's all good to go freaking sick I've, I've always wanted that at least for my whole life so that's pretty much all good to go the reason i've just kept it open here is this is you know that's obviously for i believe that's for cigarette lighter and stuff like that there's just a couple more things that i want to finalize before i go putting it all back together um but that's all pretty much good to go uh i was missing this bracket here that goes up, up underneath here that supports the the fuse box um so now that i've got that i'll install that today and put the put that together um so look, let's jump out of the car and we'll go have a chat about the motor oh uh, yep yeah, so motor, that's uh, that's the 20 inch momo stars i've got two five fives on the back there which fits pretty good the guards have all been rolled so and i've got i've got 20 mil in there clearance which should allow that camber you know you can see the calipers and and the um, braided lines and the pedal suspension all through there, which is pretty wicked. I'm going to change out these um, these rotors because they're not the the DBAs that I was after. They're just a, they were just a had to get them on there. 
Uh, as I said before, I couldn't get the front because the strut towers aren't aren't clearing. And when I put the car, when I jack the car up, I'll tell you exactly why that's not clearing. So I just got the original Calais on there. Uh, moving around to the engine bay. As you can see, it's all wired up now, you know. Uh, fuse box is in, washer bottle's in and sprayed. You're probably wondering why it's black. Probably just a brain thought of mine. I thought it'd be a great idea because, you know, everything else is all sort of blacked out. And what I just did is used a bit of tape so I can see where my minimum and maximum is for the coolant. And as you know, the washer bottle, it doesn't really matter. I'll just keep it full. Uh, so your Holly, um, EFI sniper carb, you know, that's all operational, throttle cables in, um, we're looking pretty good. Um, Gilmer Drive, uh, you, know, you know, you guys have all seen this because we've gone through the whole motor, but um, as you can see, all my wiring's done. I wanted, wouldn't, mind, wouldn't mind tightening all that up a little bit, keeping that going. I've got, um, there is somewhere here, a, oh uh, yeah, under here, I know you can see there, there's actually a, a th like a thermo gauge that I can use um, to set the temperature that I want the twin uh, used to go on. Uh, so yeah, that's that's all working. And I'll, I'll show you now um, a video of it actually firing up. Oh, as you can tell, that sounded pretty awesome, huh? So, all right, look, I've, I've, I've popped the car up on the hoist. Let's let's go through it. Um, I know you've all guys have seen everything already, but uh, you know I'm going to give you a rundown of where we're at and and just the little things that we need to tie up. So, uh, at the end of this video, hopefully, I can have the front bar on, have the AC plumbed in to the best of our ability because I'm just not sure what's going on in the dash there. The auto elect once again is I'm not going to go there because it just gets me a bit. Fucking pissed off, to be honest. Um, so let's 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 go before I start rabbling on. So obviously we've got the glitter tank. <laughs> I probably would have liked it about a different colour, but hey, it's what it came as. Um, and who knows, need a little bit of glitter in their life. <laughs> so all right. So moving up under here, I am missing the fuel sender. I picked that up today. I've got that. So this just needs to be wired up for the internal fuel tank. Um, which we've got, that's no dramas, that's probably five, ten minutes work. Um, as you can see, 20s here, calipers, braided lines, you know, shocks and springs, and you've all seen all these control arms and everything's freaking rad. Uh, Varic mufflers are installed, as you would have seen in the exhaust episode. Um, they're wired up. I've just got to pull this excess um, wiring back up into the bonnet, and into the boot, sorry, and tuck all that away. That's all wired up, just needs power to get those little varics in there to open and close. And just so you know, <laughs> that little video you just saw of the car running, that was with those closed. So I, I don't even know what's going to happen when they're um, open, but I do know it's going to be loud. All right, um, so that's pretty much it. Whole whole rear ends, all, 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 it's all done. Tail shafts in, you know, diffs all been redone. Three sevens, fully rebuilt. LSD uh, tail shaft was out of the Statesman, but that's been shortened uh, and, and installed. Uh, exhaust is all done. Um, you know, underbody car spray is all been done. Moving forward, um, obviously a bit of an aftermarket job here as a a support for the box. That's all welded up and done. Um, box has all been wired up. That's all connected. Um, you know, turbo 400 done. One small issue that I'm not too happy about. The the the, the flange you can see there is hitting. Well, is is pretty much you know an eighth of a mil away from the um, 400. So when that starts shaking, honestly, that's going to annoy the hell out of me. So what I'm going to do is just drop. Drop the, um, drop the exhaust off here and just cut a notch into that flange there. And that shouldn't inhibit anything. It shouldn't really affect too much. If I take sort of a five mil notch on the outside of there, should go back together pretty nicely. Um, everything's all done in here. Uh, moving forwards, 
As I said before, the 20s weren't going in because the strut tower here, this section of the strut tower is where my 20s are hitting and the FE2s don't have that. So that will need to be replaced, which is okay. It's not too much of a, um, a deal to get new FE2s for those. I'll be able to get some secondhand ones. Uh, Stallies all in installed, flex plates, you know, starter motors all in, you know, everything's all looking Mickey Mouse, man. We're, we're so here, guys. It's, it's, it's done. Um, moving forward, you can see I've got a bit of plumbing left over for the AC condenser to go in. Um, that's all pretty much ready. The only issue we've had is um, we're just not sure um, if the actual, you know, the plumbing going into the engine going into the um, firewall is all underneath the dash and the auto elect that did the work um the auto elect that did the work he's gone a bit dark in regards to answering the phone so i'm just not sure um where that's at but uh i'm don't you worry about that i'm definitely endeavoring to uh find out that information before i continue on because we're pretty much all there so um <coughs> Take this down. Let's bring this guy down and show you a couple more things before we finish off the video. I'll try and speed this section up, but it's not so bad. I mean, it's looking pretty good, eh? You know, there's a couple of tiny little dints and blemishes and things like that, but you know what sort of 1989 Commodore is kicking about? Look, I'd like it to have, you know, not a single blemish on it, but I think sometimes it could be a bit of a double-edged sword in regards to, hey, it's all done, and it, everything's Mickey Mouse, and all of a sudden I'll probably go babying it around because you don't want to put a tiny little scratch on it, things like that. And I want to drive this car, man. I'm going to drive this thing everywhere, dude. So, all right. Uh, one of the issues I've got here is the the clips that they had for these, um, these fittings here have all broken off, and the last owner's just... Silicon, in, so I need to take these back off, pull off all that old silicon. I think I'm just going to go and repeat the process and just and just sort of fix it back on with silicon and glues for the time being. Uh, any advice here would be massively welcomed. Um, in the boot, at the moment, it's a bit of a junk fest because it's still got all my kit, you know, things like amps and you know, Altec ACUs and. That's the head unit there, the uh, Pioneer head unit. I said Alpine, I meant Pioneer. Um, you know, that's, as I was, I was talking about the dash before, the, um, the, the cluster, instrument cluster, that, oh, come on, man. That second, that was the section here that I cut out. So you can see I've had to cut the bottom part there and obviously the side wings off and then I epoxied it. I had a second one. This one's actually in better condition um, and I was gonna use that first one as a pilot, but I was really happy with how it came out. So that's it. See all the wirings basically coming in from the stereo. In the rear here is the controller for the Verix um, and that's the Bluetooth dongle and that's just power. So I basically had to, we had to cut that and, and run that to, to ignition or power or whatever. Um, a couple of little things, so all the carpets are in the back. I drilled some holes here um, just to put, because the VS don't actually have the, the rear plugs to hold down the, the carpet, and that really wasn't holding very well. That's all done, you know. I even spray painted the, um, the locking mechanism. Uh, yeah, so today, uh, a couple of little things. So in the rear here, I'll just tape these up now so these plugs don't fit into the back of these lights. Um, so all I'm going to do is just cut and refit to the actual fittings itself. So these guys can pop back up in here for the number plate lights, um, rear vision mirror, a uh, correction, uh, rear vision camera that's installed or reverse camera, uh, and, you know, uh, rear parcel shelves in. I've still got to install the, um, the fitting here for the rear light. Um, the, unfortunately the Venetians that I did, man. That sucks, they don't fit. VS and VN, Venetians are different, by the way, and I, I spent all that time painting them, so I have some wicked VS matte black Venetians for sale if you contacted me. Um, <laughs> rear petrol cap's gotta be reinstalled. That's actually went off with the, the blue VN Calais bonnet because I was gonna get the reverse, uh, the four inch reverse cowl put on, but it's uh, that's been a bit of a cost, so 
if they took the petrol cap to match the paint for the bonnet, I'll just get that back and install it. I'll keep the extra bonnet and the extra reverse cowl for when I get a bit more cash to get that in, uh, get that painted up and done. I can't really think of too much else, guys. Um, just up in here, that's all wired up, so I've got like a reverse, um, so it's like a dash cam and rear vision camera and mirror all in one, um, which is a bit of new tech, I suppose, for this type of vehicle. But um, yeah, man, I'm, it's, it's, it's real close, dude. Like, I can put these front seats in now. I was just trying to finish off all the wiring and everything before I chuck the seats in, because it gives me more room, man. I'm like six foot four, dude. Like, I don't fit in, <laughs> I don't fit in them. So, um, you know, rear seats are all in, dude. Look at that, it's full plush, really nice. You know, I think later on down the track, I might look at doing a, an interior. Uh, it's the steering wheel that I chose. It's a, it's a Momo wheel. It's actually a wheel that I loved about 20 years ago when I had my VQ States when I, and I never bought it and I found it again. So I'm gonna whack that bad boy on there and probably just change out the Momo to a, something cool. Um, that is it guys. Oh, yeah. As you can see, there's, you know, there's a few little jobs to finish off the car. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, it's like 90% finished. But as I'm really starting to figure out and as I severely underestimated the time that it was going to take to do it, especially because I've been doing it myself and having to use the Haynes book to, to you know, to, to, to problem solve and figure out these issues and then all the screw holes have been taken out and that many times that they're all busted and I've had to use washers and it's just, it's just kind of every single little thing with finishing, like it's a, we're in the finishing phase now and, um, you know, I can't hide, you can't hide the finishing phase, it's, it's it, everything's out and my brain just doesn't work that way. If I see something that's three mil out on an angle or something that doesn't look right, it's just going to cook my head. So <laughs> I want it to look nice. I want to be able to pull up at a car show and it's just fucking Mickey Mouse, you know. So I'm not going to, and I, I love you, my wife, but it's, I'm not going to rush it to just to get it out. And uh, I'm really hoping that there's probably another one day's worth of work and then it's off to dyno. Um, because it's ready. The motor's ready. It's all plumbed in. Um, it's wired up. It doesn't need the rest of this stuff to be finished to get dyno tuned. As soon as it's dyno tuned, um, it's straight to Petters to get the suspension all tweaked and the camber right, get those strut towers swapped out and get those rear rotors uh, changed out. From there, I'll get a roadworthy for it. And of course, you know, me being me, that roadworthy will be 100% legitimate. Um, and, uh, <laughs> um, and then it should be on the road. I'll be running around, um, with a smile on my face as, as, as big as the state of Victoria. So I want to not worry too much about those little one percenters, you know, like the tiny little things that I can fix in my own driveway. I don't need to be taking up any more space. At Laz's workshop at Auto Breeze, once again, massive shout out to, to, to Laz and Maddie for their uh, hospitality, let's call it that. Um, and you know, I reckon, man, I reckon we're out of here next week. We're dyno tuning in the next couple of weeks, and um, we're, we're we're racing this summer. You know, what are we at now? It's it's uh, it's uh, grand final day tomorrow, so the twenty eighth of September um, and 29th today, I think. And you know, I'm hoping, fuck, man, I'm booking this shit in on. Uh, the good thing is, is that I'm 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 going on club bread, so it doesn't have to go over the pits. I wouldn't get through the pits, let's be honest. It's not going to make it. Um, but I'll get a roadworthy for it because we all know someone they can get a roadworthy for it and I'll uh, get it on the road and, you know, I'll be a good little boy and I'll try not to get pulled over. Um, and, yeah, so, look, that's it, guys. I hope uh, I hope I've answered a few questions. Um, I, I, I love the sound of my own voice, but I know that you guys want to hear what's going on and, and, and where it's at. And just know, as I said earlier in the video, that um, there's, 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 there's a bank of episodes ready to drop. Um, I'm so close, you know, there's this stereo. Fucking, 
Anyway, I'm not going to go through it again. <laughs> I'm going to waste your time because I'm rambling, but um, there's a heap of stuff coming out. So thanks, everyone, for your patience. Uh, thanks for all your constant messages, you know, on, 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 on wanting to see what's going on. It's definitely keep me motivated. Uh, I have been working hard. I work every chance I can get outside of a million hours that I do in a job um, to be here and do what I can. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, I may even jump back on in 30 seconds or three seconds for you uh, and show you with the front bar on and the bonnet on as well what that all looks like. Uh, and, and yeah, thanks. Peace.